you have proven that you're able to pay a huge rent every month, then you know that you have some, you know, just because you're an NGO. That so I would also go with I would also go with like you know these basic kind of things, you know that NGOs would need. You know why? You know why am I different than any other? Small and medium enterprise. You know? I mean, his business is also unstable in a way. You know, so if you know he can get a loan to buy himself a machine, if he has a loan to buy himself a car, I want the same thing. Then the second thing is being employed in an NGO. If you are employed in an NGO, you cannot get a loan. No. So you, for example, cannot get a loan to buy an apartment. You cannot get a loan. You know. So it's, it's totally ridiculous. So, for example, if you're employed uh, in like uh, in a state-owned enterprise, which is about to collapse, you know, and everybody knows it, and the bank knows it, you can still get a loan because for you know the bank they can tick the box. You are employed where? Uh huh. Okay. But if you're employed in an NGO who's doing very well, you cannot get a loan. So I would you know go for all these things because I think for them it's a huge market opportunity. You know. Because, you know, we'll, let's do some statistics and let's see, but, you know, the turnover of NGOs, the number of employees, you know, so if they all go and preach to Intesa, not all of them, like 10%, 20%, you know, I think it will be a good, great market opportunity for them. So, just to cover the basic services and to try to put some extra efforts there, like, you know, if we are getting more favorable loans for this kind of stuff, I think this would be very, very good. The second thing would be, of course, financing, you know. EU financing, that's one thing, but also state financing, which becomes more and more complicated for us. Okay. For example, the city of Belgrade wants us to provide very impossible, you know, and very, very tough financial kind of documentation when we are applying for, and I'm talking about funds that are like 10,000 euros. <laughs> Or like five thousand. Okay, bigger as well. But you need to bring. I don't know what's the name of it. Uh, it's like you know, you bring them like a sort of you know written statement that, for example, then they can you know charge money from your account if you don't like do the project or something like that. You need to bring them bank statements. That guarantees. You, they want guarantees. guarantees. You need to bring them bank guarantees that you're good for the money. Know, which the bank will not issue you because, because you're an NGO. You're an NGO, and because your balance sheet is zero, you know, because you spend all the money you get. You know, and then they say, well, you know, we cannot guarantee for this money. So a bank would be able to issue us this on the basis of other like long-term cooperation and, and our kind of track record. It will be also good. You know. uh, then there are different issues related to some like special loans, like for NGOs that want to get into, I'm not talking only social entrepreneurship, yeah. but I'm talking like different income generation things, you know. So for example, you need a small investment, you're an NGO, and you want like to build like, a, I don't know, a training center, you know, which is not like a social enterprise, but something that you would charge people. So you would want money to kind of refurbish it, to buy like some stuff, to buy a monitor, to buy, a, I don't know, like LCD projector, whatever. So I think, you know, and if you don't get a grant for it, there is no way for you that you would be able to get this kind of a like loan as an NGO. So I'm thinking, you know, this really in a way limits the entrepreneurial capacity of NGOs, you know. So even if they want, some of them start thinking about it, if they don't get a grant to do it, they will not be able to do it. Plus, I think, you know, if you get a grant to do it, and if you get a loan to do it, you will be treating these things differently, you know. If you get a loan to do it, then you will be thinking on your, you know, so when you have to return it, then, you know, you will be more kind of pushy to do your job. While if you, you know, get a grant for it, you will just say, okay, I bought the stuff, and, you know, you'll see. I don't have time to deal with it now, you know. Because we have some... some uh, some cases, you know, also here, the, the, the proof, the proof what I'm saying. So I'm thinking there is an issue, you know, quite range area. The last one, I wouldn't say, you know, that we should be pushing in Teza to do impact assessment of EU funding, because first they need to work with us to understand what all funding is about. Okay. But what I would be pushing them in doing is like, 
something like financial advisory for NGOs. Okay. We have like a group, a pro bono, you know, group, or to provide like a service. I don't know how they would do it because NGOs are really bad in financial management, you know, and you know, and uh, I think this is where the bank can help us, you know, basically. And we are bad not only because we don't have the capacity and all it, that's one of the things, but the other thing because we are in a gray zone because our financial management is different to everything else. So we are not an SME, we are not governmental, we are, you know, nothing, you know. So basically helping us in the sense, you know, like with advisory, with, you know, how to do your, you know, statistics, how to ensure your liquidity, you know. So we would need people from the bank understanding what their business model looks like and based on their understanding provide input for us how to manage it in a more in a most efficient way. You know, this is what I think would be really, really uh, uh, really important. And I think you know if we start with this with these things and then later on kind of push them into investing some money into you know a fund that would be a social investment fund, a fund for social entrepreneurs you know, a fund with co by the state, you know, for some kind of, you know, NGO development kind of thing. But I would not push them into direction to, to, to set up a fund that would be a grant. Okay. Scheme, but something with a more, let's say, sustainability-based character, this would be great. So if we meet all these conditions, you will be the chair of the group. Yeah, I can be the chair of the group. I don't think that's, um, that's, that's a big issue. If you think that that's... That is okay in the sense that you know maybe you would like because I'm always.